the sound. There we go. I'm alive now. Looks like I'm live. I need to uh, do something with my fan. Give me just a second, folks. It's early here on the West Coast. It's only 9 o'clock in the morning, but I need my fan on. There we go. All right. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. My name is Pearl Manhattan. It is Wednesday. Oh, Jesse. Whether or not with Jesse. Good morning. How are you? It is Wednesday, 12 noon on the East Coast, 9 a.m. on the West Coast. That means it is time for songwriting and music production with Pearl Manhattan. I'm Pearl Manhattan. Uh, first off, I want to say sorry about last week, folks. Um, I had had a rough night the night before. I'd only slept about two hours. And uh, with my, I have a lot of uh, chronic mental health and physical health conditions and sometimes I just can't and uh, it's not a reflection on anybody or anything it's just sometimes I wake up and my body goes up oh, nope <laughs> and last week was a uh, nope moment uh, this week I'm feeling a lot better I've been getting lots of good sleep I've been waking up in the mornings feeling refreshed and um Maybe not energetic, but refreshed. Um, I'm really bouncy and excited. Two weeks from today, at this time, I will be on an airplane on my way down to Orlando. Very excited about that. My son is very excited about that. We've worked really hard to put this trip together with my oldest kid and son-in-law, daughter and son-in-law. And uh, it's, it's going to be a blast. We're so excited. My head's in the clouds. Um, play me some funky music. <laughs> yeah, today we're, we're actually going to be doing uh, some lyrics. And maybe I'll put them with the auto harp uh, at the end. Um, I am way far behind with, uh, <laughs> with my 5090. First and foremost, though, first and foremost, I'm saying that a lot, and I don't know where I got it from, because it's not one of my catchphrases, usually. Um, first off, I want to thank Dean at The Live Place. The Live Place is your TV guide for YouTube live streamers, family-friendly, uh, in any topic you want, travel, uh, leisure, games, community, theme parks, RVs, cooking, you name it, there's somebody live streaming it. And if you go to thelifeplace.com, put that into your browser. Uh, you can search by category. You can search by day, uh, by date even. And uh, that leads me into my next thing. Last night, uh, Cricket Fox and I had our monthly show. We talked about Field of Dreams. Uh, if you missed it, that's okay. We do our videos for our replay watchers. Replay watchers are just as important as our live watchers. So do a search. I believe there might be a link down below, but if not, do a search in YouTube for The Manhattan Fox Hour. That's our channel together. Uh, we could use a little help with the subs, get it up there. Uh, but I mean, we're, we're happy where we are too. Uh, we're not gonna push it in your face and beg a lot. Uh, next month, the Manhattan Fox Hour is going to have <laughs> a guest co-host. Our friend Cricket will be having a medical procedure done. Uh, it's totally routine, folks. Not, not anything to stress about, worry about. In fact, she may join us from her hospital bed with her laptop. Um, but uh, Jesse, whether or not with Jesse, will be my guest co-host. And we'll be talking about severe weather tornadoes, thunderstorms, uh, hurricanes, and uh, so bring all your weather questions next month, and that will be Tuesday the 25th, I believe, the fourth Tuesday of next month. You'll see links for it in my socials, so keep an eye out for that. And thanks to Cricket Fox, my partner channel, we have so much fun doing our shows together, and uh, she'll be I'm sure she'll pop in here. She says every time I go live, she wakes up. So, um, 
Oh my goodness. Well, then you need to go watch our show from last night, Jesse. Uh, we talked about the movie. We talked about the game that's coming up. And uh, talked about how they have a TikTok page where they do live videos from there. And on Google Maps, you can actually go to Street View and plop your little person down. You can walk the bases in Google Street View. It was uh, it was a great show last night. We have we always have a lot of fun. It's we just sit and chat about our topic of the month, and uh, it's. We would do that if we had one viewer or a hundred viewers. We just do that. Hope you have your coffee. I've got mine. This is my second cup. So, we're ready to go. I was going to show you my progress so far. This is my progress so far in 5090, which is not great. But, you know... Um, it's not a requirement to write 50 songs. It's a guideline. And for me, I'm doing what I can. So I've got uh, two songs. And then I have three lyrics only songs. And um, <clears throat> so today I thought I'd write some more lyrics. And like I said, if I get to a place where I can uh, put it to music, I will. But my breathing's not good. So singing's a little difficult this morning. So, we'll go back up here and I'll show you the challenges for this week. And no, neither one of them really resonated. They skipped week three. So, actually, this is should say week four. But, um, it's week three. And, uh, it was hyperbole and four-note groove. Hyperbole, hyperbole uses exaggeration in the lyrics. Examples, change the locks. Uh, hoochie coochie man. It's raining men. Um which is a big favorite of a friend of mine, Steve's World. And uh, anyway, <laughs> if you compose music only, exaggerate musical elements like dynamics, intervals, etc. I wasn't really big on the hyperbole. I put a lot of hyperbole in my lyrics anyway. The second one was four note groove, create a melody using only four distinct pitches. Um, because I'm doing lyrics, that's kind of, hmm. And, uh, I let the music write itself. So I thought what I would do is go over here to tools into my favorite thing, the muse. And uh, I'd, I'd pick out a keyword. And since I've got Disney on the brain, let's write about vacation. Um, Let's get a new cloud. I don't like that one. No, I don't like a Athens. Why do we keep getting Athens? A Ford or a Cable California. Crabs crashed. Engine. No, we don't want crashed. Ah, here we go. Calling complete. Enjoy finally. Flags gain. Giggling high. Lawyer. Um. It's raining men. Hallelujah. Okay. I happen to like that song, but I was raised in the disco era. Well, I don't know. You probably were too, Jesse, because we're about the same age, I think. Um. I was raised, you know, in uh, Last Dance, Last Chance, you know, and um, all the Bee Gees, ah, 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 you know. So anyway, okay, call and complete, yeah, I think I like this one. Let's copy all of that. Let's take it over in our document and paste it down. Okay, I write in Google Docs. Uh, I find that's the easiest um, for me. And uh, I'm getting distracted because I have the, uh, the video on my phone. <laughs> no, I don't think he's starting to hate it. I think he, uh, it's, that's, that's part of the, the showman that he is. Pete is an amazing showman. Um, 
and um, he uh, he plays the um, I don't want to say the angry man, but uh, it's it's part of his uh, spiel, I think, to be that oh no not again you know and and it's it's part of his comedy thing and it's what makes him so loving he's that irascible angry man that that makes you laugh and uh i love pete pete's pete's amazing um he's an inspiration um and uh all right so let's try and write some lyrics here calling complete enjoy finally flags giggling hi lawyer lost mutilation pointless no wait a minute I didn't see those before. We don't want lawyers and mutilation in our song. Yeesh. I don't want Athens. Jill. Uh. Okay, let's try Disney. They can't give us beatings in Bethlehem with Disney? No. No, no beatings. There will be no beatings. I'm just not feeling this, man. Wow, this is done on not doing me. Let's hop over to Tyler and see. Ooh, safety and songs. Okay, I hear something. Let's look at safety and songs. Oh my gosh, no. We're gonna... Let's just do this. Whoa! Why is our font so big? There we go. <laughs> Boy, I'm having a tough morning. No, that's not what I wanted either. Text color, we want black. Highlight color, we want white. Okay, let's do this. Boy, I'm just not having a good day today. There we go. Is that font too small for y'all? Let's make it a little bigger. Okay, go yell at someone. That's fine. Lurk and listen is great. Um, chat and chill is great too. I'm going to write this.
Well, good morning, Jeff. How are you? Good to see you. Glad you're here. Don't get yourself in trouble at work. Hope you're on your lunch break. It's, uh, yeah, it's like 11.17 where you are. Jeff is a friend of mine from, oh my gosh, how, how long have we been friends, Jeff? 40 years? 45 years? So, for, about 40 years, yeah. Um, KC, my man, how you doing? We're working on some lyrics today. KC's a friend of mine from my uh, flocation group. We're writing some lyrics this morning. I went and found this title, Safety in Songs, and it just kind of started flowing after that. doing all right Casey I'm much more awake this week <laughs> like I said I only had two hours of sleep last week and so when I got when I sat down to do the stream my heart was pounding I was not doing well but uh, I'm doing good this week uh, I got Disney on my mind you know we'll go fix yourself some burritos that's my son CJ I don't know if he got on camera or not he's doing good he wants some burritos so he can go cook himself burritos. He's learned how to cook his own food. Um, he does his own laundry, too. Yeah, we got we got Disney on the brain. So excited about my trip. Oh, and uh, Jeff, thank you very much. I did receive it. Uh, it helps out very much. Went straight to the, the, the credit card to help uh, pay back. And... Um, but yeah, this is this is gonna be a dynamic trip. Uh, what, buddy? Uh, well, go make yourself some. You gotta open the package, put them on a plate, cook them for about two minutes and thirty seconds. Sorry about that, folks. It doesn't want anything till I'm live, but that's okay. I waited to the sky. Ground. Found. Oh, thank you. Yeah, um, I mean, I still have a, a lot of uh, chronic physical and uh, mental stuff going on, but today's a good day. So, um, yeah, got a got a good chair, a good ergonomic chair. Highly recommend if you don't have a decent computer chair, even if you don't have a computer, go get one. Um, this one I got off Amazon for about 120 bucks and uh it is so comfortable so
Wow, we got three verses. When I feel lost and afraid, let down when I had it made. When I feel lonely like life has passed me by. Cold rain is pouring down and all I can do is frown. And all I want to do is cry. There's a place I find peace, comfort and relief from the heavy weights that bind me to the ground. I spread my wings and fly unweighted to the sky and revel in the feeling I've found. I find safety in my songs and I can sing them all night long. They chase away the demons and the ghosts. And then I feel relief from the trauma and the grief. I find the peace I've needed the most. So I probably need a chorus since I got three, three verses. Um, I'm also, I'm hearing the chords too. So we might get a whole song out of this session. Um, let's take a minute. Well, I'll, I'll talk with the chat while I'm, uh, thinking of a chorus. If you have any suggestions, feel free to throw them out there. Um, Casey, where are you? You over on the East Coast? I can't remember where you are. Uh, I know Jeff is down in Texas, uh, in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. And uh, I know whether or not with Jesse is in Iowa. They're having a heat wave up there. They're going to be 103, I think she said today. Oh my gosh. And uh, out here in Western Washington, uh, south of Seattle, we're on like our 46th day without rain. Uh, you're in the East Coast. That's right. Um, 46th day without rain out here. So those of y'all who are getting drenched in the rest of the country, please send our rain back. We want it back. We're also up in the upper 80s here, which the past couple years has become pretty normal. Um, which is sad because when I first moved out here in the 90s, it was, uh, the highs would be 75, maybe, in the summertime. So, uh, yeah, global climate change is real. Um, we're, 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 we're hot. We're baking out here. Um, it's hot. Um, <coughs> on the East Coast. The East Coast is nice. I love the Atlantic Ocean. I love the beaches on the Atlantic Ocean. Um. Oh, yeah. Well... And it's going to be that way down in Orlando when we're there, too. You know, they Orlando gets that 3.30 thunderstorm. Um, not always at 3.30, but they get that, af that afternoon thunderstorm. And uh, one of the Amazon deliveries I'm getting today, I bought some dresses to wear to the park. But one of the deliveries I'm getting today is a 20-pack of rain ponchos <laughs> for when we're in the park. Um... Because uh, I watch a lot of streamers from uh, Disney World. And uh, yeah, the the evening thunderstorms have been something else. Um, I wish it would rain here. God, I wish it would rain here. We're just, we're roasting. Everything's dying. And then uh, a couple weeks ago, we had a patch of days where we were over 100 degrees. And it just dried everything out. And so the wildfires up in the mountains are starting and everything else. I think I'll just repeat this as the chorus twice. Yep. This is how I do 
Oh yeah, I'm looking forward to the humidity so much. My voice clears up in the humidity, my skin clears up, my hair behaves. Not that there's much of it. Funny thing about my hair, yesterday, last night when I was uh, doing the show with Cricket, the Manhattan Fox Hour, go search the channel and give us a sub, please. We are at 24 subscribers and we'd like to get up to at least 100. That would be cool. So anyway, um, I was noticing I had a glare down the center of my head. You see that light shining there. And I was like, what in the world is that? You know, is it the lighting? Is it, I've got a bald spot? No, it's my gray hair. I have gray hair, but that's okay. I can easily fix that just a trip to Walgreens. <laughs> but um, Jeff, I don't know if you remember, but I used to dye my hair all the time. My hair was always dyed and the past couple years I haven't gotten around to it because uh, full-time caregiver to my son. Um, but now that he is much more autonomous and doing a lot more on himself, I have more time to do things. So, mm, excuse me, I got to fix this. I left out an apostrophe. There we go. And, um, do you remember? <laughs> and, and yeah, look at it now. See how it's, it's short. I went in and told him I want something I don't have to take care of. Uh, simplify. You, you remember I used to wear it, had the big hair and everything. Nah, I don't mess with that anymore. Don't have the time or the inclination. So let's put a verse two here. And let's put a verse three here and we'll throw the core. Okay, that's the chorus there. And then let's put a chorus here. And let's, should we put a bridge? We'll put something. Oops, wrong, wrong place. Let's just do an instrumental here. It's sort of a little and a chorus. All right, let's take this back down a little bit. Uh, that might be hard for y'all to see, but I got to do this so I can have it all on one page and I format it like this. Cricket, there you are, girlfriend. I told everybody, I said, yeah, she'll be in here in a few minutes. How you doing today, Cricket? I'm doing much better than last week. I'm awake. I'm happy. I'm uh, going to be taking our show from last night, uh, the Manhattan Fox Hour. Um, Yeah probably do that repeat the chorus again that would be a good idea and uh, where's the we can actually go here oh take that down it's way too big take out the word chorus and take out a line and uh, let's see We'll go, there we go. Now I got it all on one page so I can see it all. And let's uh, take that out. And then we'll go back and do this again. There we go. All right. Oh, but uh, what was I even saying? Oh, after... Uh, after I get off here in about 30 minutes, uh, I will be taking our show from last night, the Manhattan Fox Hour. We talked about Field of Dreams. And I take that and I turn it into an audio-only file, send it back to Cricket, and we put out our podcast of the Manhattan Fox Hour. So if you are more of a podcast person than a video watcher, you can catch our podcast. It's distributed through uh, several of the podcast outlets. It ends up on Spotify uh, and a couple other places. 
Uh, so, yeah. And keep an eye on the Manhattan Fox Hour, man. Uh, we're, we're doing once a month right now, but starting in January, we're going to amp up our content a little bit more. All right, so there we go. Hmm. I'm hearing echoes of you raised me up in this thing. Um, let's see. You can't really see. Well, I've got the auto harp out. You can't really see it. This is Leviathan, my auto harp. Uh, Leviathan and I have a very special relationship. He knocked my front teeth out. But I love him. And I feel lost and afraid, let down when I had it. Life has passed me by. Cold rain is pouring down, and all I can do is frown. And all I want to do is cry. Take me away. Take me away. Don't make me go home. Take me away, take me away, don't make me go home, I want to stay, there's a place I find peace, comfort and release from the heavy weights that bind me to the ground. Spread my wings and I fly unweighted to the sky. Revel in the feeling I've found. Take me away, take me away. Don't make me go home. I want to stay. Take me. Take me away Don't make me go home I wanna stay I find safety in my soul Chase away the demons and the ghosts And then I feel relieved from the trauma and the grief I find the peace I've needed the most Take me away, take me away A song in an hour. <laughs> um, there's there's this moment after I write a song that I will um, look at it and go, 
dang, who wrote that? Um, and I've, I've found, and I, I'm going to do a little mental health talk in here. I found that with my CPTSD, um, I've, I found a, a, a theory that a person I follow online brought up and said, you know, when you're a normal neurotypical, when you don't experience trauma, uh, severe trauma that affects your brain, you, you start out, you're a baby in your little circle. And then your different parts are little circles around that. The person you have to be in school, the person you have to be in church, the person you are when you're hanging out with your friends, the person you are when you're hanging out with your parents. When you experience repeated trauma over and over again, and I don't want to define trauma because for each one of us, trauma is a very different situation. Um, it doesn't have to be somebody beating on you. It doesn't have to be somebody talking, you know, a parent mistreating you or stuff like that. It can be something as simple as being in a, a, in a severe hurricane, being in a car accident, um, for some people, you know, they, some kids, they get trapped in a closet and they can't get out. That's trauma. Uh, trauma isn't, trauma isn't degrees and levels. It's an individual thing for each person. I can't say whether you have or have not experienced trauma. That's only, only you can say that. But when you experience this repeated trauma, I was severely abused from the time I was born up until about 10 years ago, I want to say, eight years ago, uh, 12 years ago, we'll say, when my, my late husband passed. And so as you experience trauma, those little bitty circles around the outside grow and grow and grow, and you sort of fragment. And so when I'm writing songs, I might sit down and write out a song like I did today and think, oh, wow, you know, I just came up with that when really one of my parts has been working on that song for who knows how long. And they finally got the opportunity to get up front and put that song out and say, hey, <laughs> I got this, you know. And so I think that's why I can write these songs so fast uh, is because I've already written them. And um, so anyway, I'm, I'm glad you like this. We're, I'm going to, after I uh, finish here, I will set up my phone. I'll just make a quick MP3 recording. And it's going to go over here on my 5090 page. Anybody can join 5090. Uh, you can do instrumentals. You can do lyrics only. Uh, some people just do poems. Uh, the site has, there's been 800, 1,825 songs posted in just the last four weeks. Um, it's a friendly environment. People will not critique your writing or recording or any of that. Um, but anyway, so there we go. Um, coming up music wise. Uh, we're going to shift focus. Now, next week, I will be here live. The week after that, um, I will be on an airplane going to Florida. I'm leaving on a trip plane. I'm so excited about that. Um, and so I will have a prepared video up that will go off at 9 o'clock just to keep the consistency. And then when I return, uh, I've been commissioned to write some pieces of music for a uh, Christmas celebration a, a couple of friends of mine in the Disney YouTube community are putting together. Uh, it's going to be similar to like a candlelight processional uh, and I will be working on the music for that. Uh, I've also got a couple albums I'm working on getting together and getting out around Christmas time. Um, <laughs> Cricket. Ah, <laughs> oh, speaking of rub it in, let me um. I bought my first backpack. 
for Disney. And this is it. And it is beautiful. Oh, that's fine, Jesse. That is fine. Jesse, meet Jeff. And I think you know KC. And I think you know Cricket. Um, it's got little Mickey details all over it. It is uh, it's beautiful. And it was my first Disney backpack that I bought. And uh, I love it. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to rub it in. And I got my Disney pens and all sorts of stuff. But, uh, yeah, when I get back, I've got some albums working on. It is shiny. It's very, very shiny. And uh, we're going to go to Star Wars land, Jeff. We're going to go to Batu. And, uh, in fact, my son-in-law is making a... Uh, he's got an appointment for a lightsaber. He's going to make a, a saber. Go put some shorts on. I can't wash it sitting right here. No. Uh, anyway. We're going to... Yeah, let me see. Got to wash a, a game just for my son. Real quick. And I'm not going to talk about how I do that because people would cringe and scream. But anyway, give me one second, guys. I will be right back. I'm back. Sorry about that. Gotta, gotta wash the game discs. Um, so, yeah. So that's what's going on here. Jesse, how's the weather? Are you, uh, uh, are you baking yet? You moved to the basement yet? Um, it's, it's hot where Jess is in Iowa, right? Hey, Cricket, Jess says that she lives about an hour from the Field of Dreams. We could have sent her on a remote. We could have had a remote broadcast from the Field of Dreams next year when we do the show. Next year we'll we'll have a we'll have our Jesse is our reporter in the field, right? And uh, again, I'll say if you didn't hear me at the beginning, um. Our next Manhattan Fox Hour, the topic is severe weather, tornadoes. Uh, if you didn't know it, Jess is a tornado chaser, and that that fascinates me. I've, uh, uh, you know, Jeff with Jeff and I, we grew up on the uh, on the Gulf Coast of Mississippi, so we are no stranger to severe weather because weather the, the severe weather would just roll right up off the the water and water spouts would turn into tornadoes and stuff like that so we're no strangers to that severe weather and uh but we never got the same will there be a vlog there will be several vlogs because i have been charging up i have a little video camera there will be tons of vlogs uh, and videos and things like that. I'm hoping to video my son-in-law making his lightsaber. Uh, we are going to be dining in some great locations. We're going to be dining at the Coral Reef in the Living Seas in Epcot. We'll be dining at Chef Mickey's uh, so we can see some characters. Uh, we'll also be doing the Epcot Food and Wine Festival um, that's going on. Uh, lots of good booths there. Uh, very excited about that. Um, yeah, Casey, there will be several vlogs. Um, but uh, like I said, I will be gone for a week. A week, man. So the vlogs will be out towards the end of August. Um all right, guys, we're coming up on uh, 10 till, and uh, I like to end a little early because there's always somebody coming on uh, on the hour. If you go check out thelifeplace.com, 
you'll see there's always a live streamer going on. I left out so storm surge. Oh my gosh, yes, the flooding. Um, the, 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 they used to have cartoons. I don't know how many of you remember Jim Cantori from the Weather Channel, but there used to be uh, commercials that they would do that when Jim Cantori showed up somewhere, your dog melted. Oh, your poodle's a puddle. You have a puddle poodle. Um, but uh, you too. Love you. Love you, Cricket. Um, but uh, whenever Jim Cantori would show up anywhere, even if he was just on vacation, everybody would take one look and run the opposite direction. And uh, the hotel where Jim Cantori was for, um, I believe it was Katrina, um, and they ended up having to go up to the top of the hotel. That, that was a very popular place. It used to be a Best Western, and it's right on the beach and uh, not far from where I grew up. Um, right in downtown uh, Gulfport. Um, <laughs> thunder snow. Oh, yeah. We'll see. And snow was a foreign concept to us. We rarely got snow down there on the Gulf. Um, and, uh, you know, the summers would be in the 90s and high humidity. But the winters, it was funny because <laughs> the winters would only get down to maybe 40 degrees. Maybe freezing every once in a while, but not that often. But everybody would have, you know, their snow gear on when it's 40 degrees. And out here, since I've been living out here in the Seattle area, you know, our weather is really mild and a lot cooler out here. So it's 40 degrees. We all put on our shorts and sandals, you know. It's like, oh, it's summer. It's 40. <laughs> Thunderstorms. Yeah, they can. Uh, I would suggest how I got over my anxiety with thunderstorms was I studied what made them happen, how they came, how they formed, and what was going on, and what the worst thing that could happen from a thunderstorm. Um, thunderstorm doesn't necessarily mean tornado. Uh, it doesn't necessarily mean a microburst, which is like a tornado, except it's all in one spot. Um, but learn what thunderstorms are. Learn the, uh, meteorology behind it. Jessie can help you with that, um, because she's a meteorologist. Um, Francisco, my friend, happy, awesome Wednesday. So glad to see you pop in here. Uh, I was wondering where you were. You usually pop in and say hi, so good to see you. But, uh, learn that about the severe weather. I was a uh, ham radio operator, amateur radio operator early in my life. And uh, so I learned a lot about the weather because uh, I was a first responder. And, um, you know, the lightning is going to strike the tallest thing. So make sure you're not the tallest thing. Make sure you're inside or under something taller than you. Uh, interesting fact about lightning, we, uh, my, uh, my dad had a radio shack. He was a CB radio person back in the seventies and he had, he had turned our little shed into a radio shack. It was detached from the house. And then we had a metal wire for a clothesline and, um, lightning hit the tree that the metal clothesline was attached to and it ran down, it got into the electric electricity wiring of the house and shot out from the stereo in the living room in between my feet. And uh, that was, that was exciting. <laughs> that was very exciting. Um, so lightning can be dangerous, but as long as you're not the tallest thing in the world. And thunder, all thunder is, is air bumping into other air. It's just big, loud noise. And uh, we don't get thunderstorms out here because we're in what's called a rain shadow. And, uh, but uh, I kind of miss the thunderstorms. I'm kind of looking forward to the thunderstorms down in Orlando. And like I said, I'll be here next week. Uh, maybe next week we'll, uh, we'll work on some music production. We'll do uh, an instrumental piece. 
Um, but and then the week after that, like I said, I'll have a, a pre recorded video, a scheduled video for that. I appreciate each and every one of you being here. Yeah, yeah. You know, take the exit and go into town and find a McDonald's, you know, <laughs> or, or a Stuckies. I miss Stuckies. Do they still have Stuckies down there? Um, but anyway, um, I appreciate each and every one of you. Uh, you mean the world to me. Uh, this show is nothing without its viewers. And that means our replay viewers too. So if you're watching the replay, hashtag replay squad down in the comments. Questions, comments, concerns, as long as they're nice um, and thoughtful. No spam. We delete trolls. We delete spam. Um, peace and blessings upon you, upon all you love, upon all who love you. Find your passion. Grab a hold of it. You can make anything happen. All you have to do is set your mind on it. Intention, intention, intention. Love each and every one of you. Drink your water, take your meds, eat a salad for lunch, and uh, make somebody smile today, okay? Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon. Uh -huh.